everyone, welcome to Southern Wreaths. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful candy cane wreath. These are the supplies I used to make this wreath. I also used some zip ties. Just ignore the ribbon I have at the bottom. Um, I didn't do it right, so I have to redo it. So just pretend like it's not there. Um, I'm going to start by attaching my ribbon to the wreath frame with a zip tie. Alright, once I get my zip tie trimmed away, I'm going to start wrapping it around the frame. I want it to have some hanging over the end so that I could tuck it in and you wouldn't be able to see the wire at all. So when I'm done, I tuck it in with a... Um, with some hot glue. I didn't show that in the video. I didn't do it till after the fact. Um, but I'm basically just wrapping it around. I originally tried to line up all of the stripes, but it didn't work very well on the curved part. And then when I did it on the straight part, as you can see, it took too much ribbon and I only had so much ribbon to use. Um, but if you have a ton of ribbon, you might be able to get it to line up right. I don't think you can really notice in the end and I think it looks really pretty when it's done. And you would actually continue all the way down with your ribbon. I just happened to have mine in two pieces because I thought I was going to have to put a bow where there was going to be a section missing, uh, but I ended up having enough to cover the whole thing once I fixed the bottom. And you could start from either end. I don't think it makes a difference in the wrapping. All right, I'm just going to zip tie that part. So if you are using multiple ribbons, you just want to make sure you secure it to the frame. And I'm just going to undo what I've already had done. I made like 10 different versions of this. Um, you can do so many different things with it. You can add stuff that like not just bows. You can add just little picks or greenery. Um, you can add like presents, the little um, ornaments. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> you can add ornaments. Um, you can add so many different things and personalize them. I had a lot of fun making these. All right, so now I'm going to rewrap this, but I'm going to make sure that I'm doing it right so I'm not wasting ribbon. And I actually ended up with the perfect amount. And I'm not too worried about how it looks right there because I'm going to have a bow. And I always make sure I push my zip ties in so they're not poking out so they don't scratch anyone's door. And see how I'm just tucking those in. I later on, um, once I was done with the wreath, I add some hot glue to make sure it stays. And now I'm just going to make a really pretty bow. I'm going to use two different ribbons. Um, I'm using some sheer red ribbon and then some ribbon that has little candies and candy canes on it. I am going to dovetail the ends and I wanted to make sure that I was going to have enough to make this bow. So I went ahead and dovetailed it and made my tails. I'm just going to use my ruler to measure. If you have like an easy bow maker or something like that, you'll already have your measuring tool on your bow maker. Yeah, and that um, ribbon had a ton of glitter. I keep seeing it all over my hands. All right, I'm going to do two loops on each side. And this gave me just enough tail. All right, now I'm going to add my next ribbon. And I'm going to do the same thing where I dovetail the end. Go ahead and make the tail. I have a detailed video on how to make a bow with my Bodabra, and I'll link it here. I'm making my, my loops slightly smaller than the sheer ones. All 
I thought this ribbon worked perfectly with this striped ribbon and it also had candy canes in it which was really cute all right I'm doing three loops on each side with the candy cane ribbon and I would say that my my loops are probably five inches on the bottom four and a half on the top the last two loops at the top I would say are probably about three and a half inches I made those slightly smaller just so when I fluff it it looks good I was originally going to use the pipe cleaner, but I've, sometimes I find that I can't get it tight enough. So I just decided to use a zip tie. And I just wrap it around and I don't pull it completely tight yet. Because one, I want to put my pipe cleaner through so I can attach it. And two, I want to fluff the ribbon a little bit. Now I'm just going to fluff my bow. To attach my bow, I'm just wrapping the pipe cleaner around and twisting it probably three or four times. Um, I was going to just add the whole pick and then I decided I didn't like the green with this. Um, so I am just going to pull these off and just glue them directly to the center of the bow. I will say it took me a long time to hold them in place, uh, so be patient if you're doing something like this. I didn't show it on camera because I didn't want you to have to sit here for a minute while I'm holding the pieces in place, but I do uh, wait until they're completely dry before I add each piece. And the little pairs to the side, those took a lot more glue. I'm not sure why, but I had to keep gluing this particular one on. So after a while, I put some glue on the side too so that it could stick to the pair next to it. And then I, I just stuck those two little um, balls on the stick down into there. And now I'm going to feed this pipe cleaner through the wire frame. Um, you might want to do this before you wrap your candy cane. It was um, a lot of work getting that to go through, but then I'm just going to twist it to the how you know big I want the loop to be, and then I'll trim that away, and then I just kind of turn the loop so that the the pointy parts inside the candy cane, and that's it. That's how I made my candy cane with a Dollar Tree candy cane wreath form. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching. And if you learned anything today or if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.